Um, so, a bit of a different video today. Um, anyone who's seen my last video or follows me on Instagram or Twitter will know that I just recently got made redundant. <coughs> Sad face. But, um, yeah, so Friday, which was yesterday, was my last day at work. And in true Fran fashion, I have decided that that means that I should make a big drastic change to my hair because apparently that's just what I do. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only girl who does this. I think most girls, like, if they go through a really rough breakup or something, will, like, do something crazy with their hair. So, um, recently, I think on about Thursday, so a couple of days ago, I tried to dye the ends of my hair violet. As you can see, it's kind of got like a pinky sheen to it, but it's not really what I had in mind. I wanted something quite intense. Um, having said that, I did quite like the way it turned out, and I might do that as a more kind of permanent colour once I actually get myself in the job. Um, so, the colour that I've used was Live XXL in violet I'll link it down below just so you can see um, I think it might have just been called ultraviolet um, but yeah I'll link it below um, and what I did was just brush it in like I would with an ombre hair color so I just took various chunks and put it in at slightly different heights all throughout my hair so that one's permanent um, and like I say I like it but I wanted something just a little bit more fun for the next couple of weeks um, just until I sort out some employment and just to kind of give me a change so what I'm going to be doing today is um, dyeing various chunks of my hair purple so I'm hoping because I have my hair curly most of the time it will look okay it will I'm kind of going for like a weird kind of ombre effect but um yeah that's pretty much it I haven't particularly got a huge plan so hopefully if you've clicked through to this video it's because in the thumbnail my hair looks great and you want to imitate this look otherwise you might have clicked through because I might have called it tried to dye my hair purple fail Either way, let's have some fun. What we've got to lose, really. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing today is dyeing my hair with Arctic Fox's Purple Rain hair colour. Um, it's semi-permanent. Just going to point that out now, just because I just wanted to see how it would look before I did anything else. And I've heard really good things about Arctic Fox, so I figured it was a good brand to go with. Um, so it's slightly more purple than the violet that I've dried my hair with, but I mean, it's fun. Obviously you can see my hair is quite dark. In order for the purple to really pop, what I'm going to do first is bleach some of these strands with the Stargazer Bleach and Peroxide Kit. Again, this one, I've heard really good things about, so I just figured I would go with brands that I know, but if I decide to do this again, I'll do a little bit more research, and if anyone has any suggestions for a nice permanent purple or violet, and a good bleach if you think there's something out there that's better than the ones that I've chosen, I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say in the comments. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get started. I'm doing it on my bed because lighting obviously um also because my bathroom has no ventilation and i really really don't want to pass out on youtube anyway so um yeah i'm doing it on my bed i've got sheets down because i can't afford to buy a new duvet cover i just got made unimportant um but yeah so hopefully this will be fun i hope you enjoy it any questions any uh, tips, anything like that, just leave them in the comments below and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the Stargazer instructions are kind of a little bit vague. It says that I'll need between 20 and 90 minutes to develop. 
um, but hopefully it will be closer to 20. It won't. Okay, so in the Stargazer kit, you get two sachets of the bleach powder and then one bottle of the cream peroxide with 30% volume. You get a little stick to do your mixing with, pairs of gloves, a cute little bowl and obviously a dye brush. So I had to charge my camera up because it died because that's my life and when I came back Cinnamon was sitting here waiting to be filmed so Cinnamon you're now on camera. <laughs> I know that's what you wanted in life. No. <laughs> so, like I said, um, my camera died because that's just how life has to be sometimes. So, I'm going to do the bleach. Um, the Stargazer instructions are a little bit vague. Um, it says between 20 minutes to an hour and a half. So, I'm going to just apply it and then keep checking just to see when it's at the kind of level that I want it to be. I'm not looking for it to be like a very bright kind of blonde slash white. I'm just looking for it to be lighter than the colour that I have naturally. This is not obviously my natural colour, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah. That's that. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm only going to do half of the solution because I'm not doing my whole head. Okay, I'm guesstimating that that was about half. As you can tell, I'm clearly not a hairdresser. So please do not just take my word for what I'm doing because I literally have no clue. I think you can always tell the quality of your bleach by how bad it smells because like when you get those like at home bleach kits that like L'Oreal and people do it smells bad but it doesn't smell like hairdresser quality bad. Obviously like I mentioned before I have sheets down on my bed and my cats have been put outside my room so they have no access to this so please don't like think that I just feel like it's okay for my cats to be exposed to bleach and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see the texture as well as I would like you to, but I've kind of got it to a really creamy, fluffy texture. Okay, so my general technique for this is just to apply a large amount to the bottom of the strand of hair and then slowly work it up with the gloves. So you're not quite rubbing it in, but it's just getting a really natural gradient. That's what I've always done when I had um, my ombre hair, which I will try to find a picture of actually, just to put it in here so you can kind of see what I mean. But obviously, um, I'm going for something a bit different, so I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do this is. And if I do it again, I might do it slightly differently, but we will see. And obviously when I do the purple parts, I will just go over the bottoms of my hair and just try and cover all the bits that have been bleached. So yeah. It's not gonna be particularly even. It's not going to be particularly professional. And like I said, I'm just going for something a little bit more fun than just what I normally have. I didn't want to go for full on purple just because I didn't want to bleach all my hair. I genuinely have no idea how this is going to look when I'm done, so it's ours. this bit but when I am bleaching my hair once I've applied bleach to the part that I want to apply it to I tend to then twist it off 
so you've probably noticed by now, but I tend to just twist it like this instead of sectioning it with clips because I just find it quite difficult to section it when I'm dyeing my own hair. So you see I've got a big clunky glove on and it's just a bit annoying to have to do. So I've done all of the ends of my hair now and what I'm going to do just so it has that kind of uneven look in my curls, I'm going to take a couple of really thin pieces of hair and just go slightly further up so it looks more like a gradient. Yeah, so just super tiny sections and just working with bleach slightly further up the strand than it already is. And I'm only doing this in one or two pieces because I don't want, like I said before, I don't want the, the purple to be too pronounced. console myself with the fact that hey at least I don't have work on Monday if it comes out atrociously. Although I am going out tomorrow so that will be embarrassing if it looks awful. So if any of you guys have been laid off or made redundant or anything like that before, what was like your coping mechanism for it because obviously I'm going to start job hunting very very soon but I'm giving myself like a week or so off just to kind of find my footing a little bit and kind of deal with it and try and get some closure on everything that's happened um but like how did you cope with it because I think you need to do something when you're in that situation because it just makes you feel so helpless and um, yeah I'm just curious to know what you did if you were ever in that situation or if you've been fired or if you've ever had to leave a job for any reason and it was kind of quite unexpected I'd be really interested to know how you dealt with that kind of sudden change and stuff like that because it's kind of interesting to me how you will deal with things a little bit differently. The other person that got um, let go the same day that I did is going travelling <laughs> on Monday I think. So he's literally flying out of the country straight away. Which I think is quite a fun idea but obviously I'm not financially in a position <laughs> to do that right now. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have done. Um, and yeah. So, I have done all of my bleach. I don't know if you can see it. But it's kind of... Let me get up and give you a little close-up. So it's kind of a little bit patchworky and a little bit kind of mishmash. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go and let it rest. I won't make you watch me letting it rest um, and then once I have rinsed it out I will show you guys the result of that and show you me putting the purple in okay so I'll see you in like probably 90 minutes hi guys so I have just bleached my hair as you can see it's got nice and orange and I'm just going to pop on the Arctic Fox um, Purple Rain. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I've shampooed the bleach out of my hair, let it dry a little bit, which is what the Arctic Fox bottle says to do, no conditioner. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have to just pop this onto my hair and then leave it for 30 minutes. 
so I'm going to do it now, I'm going to do it with my bare hands because I don't have gloves and also because I'm quite lazy so yeah, I'm just going to pop it straight on I'm wearing an old t-shirt, please 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 never do this with clothes that you actually like because I've learned that mistake many times and it's not a fun mistake to learn. Also, like I said, I've got um, old sheets on my bed, so. This is fun. Oh, it actually smells so nice. Ooh, I'm impressed, Arctic Fox. Oh, it smells so good. trying to like aim for the bits that I bleached earlier so some of it might go slightly further up but hopefully it will just catch better on the areas that have um, the bleach on them. Oh god, this is terrifying. Oh well, it's done now isn't it? Do you know what it smells like? It smells like grape soda. So we don't have that really in the UK, but occasionally you can find it in like the American section and it's one of my favorite drinks. Um, before I dated George, I actually dated this guy who was American and I used to make him um, bring me back like all grape flavored products from America because I love it because it doesn't actually taste like grape at all. It's just really artificial. Eh, I got it on my neck, it's fine. I have no idea how much of this stuff I'm supposed to put on. And my natural hair colour is like, well, it's ginger. So generally with stuff like this, um, because it's such a high pigment, my natural hair colour, it can take a while for it to take. So I'm just gonna leave it on for the full 30 minutes and hope for the best because I don't wanna completely trash my hair. And because it is such a bright color, I'm hoping it will take relatively well. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this for half an hour and hope for the best. I'll see you in half an hour, guys. I washed the dye out of my hair and curled it and this is the end result. So I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see but I've basically got purple and violet running through all of my hair. So yeah, I'm actually super happy with how it came out. And as always, if you go to my Instagram, which is in the description box below, there will probably be tons of pictures on here, on there, because I am actually obsessed with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I know it was a little bit of a kind of mishmash and it was a little bit different, but this is how I am choosing to get over my current employment situation, or lack thereof. So yeah, as per usual, uh, all my social accounts will be in the box below. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Bye guys.